Hi, welcome back to the channel. In this episode, which is part 21, I'm going to be carrying on repairing the areas underneath the rear windows behind the side caps. Now, the repair section that I need for the near side still hasn't arrived. I'm expecting it any minute now. Um, but until then, I'm going to make a start on the off side. Um, I'm going to be replacing the V channels that the side caps sit in. But to do that, I need to first remove the window. Now that I've got all of this cleaned up and the rust, any rust that was left treated, I need to weld on three of these channels. So I've put one at either end and one in the middle. And I'm just going to attach them very roughly just with a little tack weld at either end first and try and fit the cover and make sure I've got them in the right place. Before I fit them though, I want to spray a bit of weld through primer on the backs. I've already done these just to uh, protect it against rust. had another delivery hopefully this is going to be the repair section uh, underneath the near side rear window uh, the bit that was missing in the last box yeah that's this is the bit that we need just right 
perfect. I've actually sent another two window repair corner sections. So I've now got four of those. You never have too many. And no Harry Bow, but that's okay. Right, I'm going to start by <coughs> marking out um, where I roughly need to cut. Um, I'm not going to be using all of this flange here because obviously I don't want to cut into the rail. So I'm going to cut above the rail um, and then weld this to it. to cut this part off um, because of the location holes and bolt captive nuts for the door latch and this metal is good anyway so we'll leave that. giving it a bit more thought I think I'm going to 
actually remove this ruler and then cut this panel right at the bottom so I can utilise all of this because I, I'm not happy that this metal that I'm leaving in is you know going to be free enough of rust I know I've cleaned it up and I've treated it but I can't get behind here and it looks solid but it just seems crazy to not weld in good metal obviously it's going to mean a bit more work taking this off and putting it back on and the only critical part of it I think is this bit at the front that has to be in the right position the rest of it doesn't really matter but it seems to sit on top of the shoulder on the rear panel so if I cut it all off I can weld all of this new panel on so that's what I'm going to do some rust behind here and on here and you can bet your bottom dollar that the first bit of moisture that got in there and ran down you'd start getting rust stains running down here which would be a bit depressing having done all of this work so I'm really glad that I've removed this and it should be very easy to put back on I just need to spot weld it through these holes that I've drilled with a little weld at each end and I've marked on here where it comes to, although it's, it's quite obvious. So the next thing is to trim this down and remove that.
to be far more work than I thought it was going to be, considering I didn't think I was going to have to do anything on here. I'm now ending up with probably in total two days work to sort all this area out. But as I've said before, if it's worth doing, it's worth doing correctly. So I've got a bit of area here to cut out from this inner panel, which has got a bit of rust on it. So I've got a welder uh, section in there. I've got to weld this lip back up all the way along and a small piece into this corner here. And then clean it all up, get it all painted. Um, clean this area up as well here, get it all painted and then I can weld this section in. I've got to trim this down first and I can get that welded in. I've also got to clean up the rail which goes in there, get that cleaned up, get it all painted and prepared and also clean up the um, the uh, safety belt support bracket that goes in there. So I'll probably bolt this in and then weld it onto, onto this at a later date. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do that yet, but I've also got to grind off the remainder of the outer panel on this because it was spot welded on. So that's going to be my next job. Clean everything up and make some patches to weld in.
welded up, um, got rid of all the rust, and now ready to weld in the repair panel. pieces.
and I've got a mark on here so I know exactly where it should um, start and it's just going to be a matter of clamping it on and then welding through these uh, plug weld holes. Next up I want to weld these V-channels for the side cap back on, same as the other side, so one at each end and one in the middle. nicely um, happy with the position I can now fully weld those V channels on and put the middle one on but before I take this off the side cap off I want to mark where this bracket at the end goes so I can weld this on